guys, it's Miss Multi247 here, and <sighs> it's currently 8.37 at night, and I'm just now filming episode 4 of my series, so <laughs> I'm extremely sorry about that, but this is episode, I'm going to get my book out of my backpack, episode 4 of my 642 things to write about series. Throat hurts. So, um, yeah. So, again, day four. Sorry, it's really late. I just, 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 just finished, um, all five writing prompts like 10 minutes ago because I didn't have like any free time in school today. I got lucky yesterday because we had a couple different tests. So, I did, I got really lucky. I'm trying to open this pack of gum, so my mouth is really dry and my throat's killing me. So, yeah, day four. <laughs> Alright. So, day four. Looks a little bit like this. I had five different things two medium size and three short um, size paragraph things. So, excuse me. So, we're just going to jump right into this. I'm going to do the three, um, or the, sorry, the two um, small ones. First, just cause, and I'm sorry. All right, so the two medium ones, I probably just said the two small ones, but the two medium ones. So the first one says, you're lost in a foreign country. You can't find anyone who speaks English. How do you react and how do you find your way? Um, I changed this one a little bit. I did find one person that speaks English, but, okay. This little story is actually set before I go to the foreign country, so, this is like, before I go. So, yeah. Let's go. Hola, that's about it. I had no idea how to speak Spanish. I've always wanted to go to Spain, but I couldn't speak the language. It was too confusing. Thank God for 21st century technology, I heard an English man say. That got me thinking. So I sat on a park bench and put the pieces together. That's it. Siri, brilliant. See, at first, I was nervous about speaking. But now I can have Siri translate for me. Simply amazing. There's a piece of gum that's, like, flown around. Alright. So, yeah. Sum that up. I find someone walking past me. He says, thank God for 24th century technology. I figure out Siri can help me. Neckline is like. Alright. So the next one is. Make a scene with a character exhibiting really bad behavior. So, um. My two characters are Mr. B, which is the teacher, and Billy, which is the student. So I'll go like this for Mr. B, and I'll go like this for Billy. I'll like act it out for you. Alright. Mr. B. Okay, class, today we'll be- ah, There's a monster! What? Where? He spoke to me! Bill, see me out of school for detent- Quick, someone call 911 and tell him a fat, hairy monster has killed Mr. B. Takes away Bill's phone. Oh my god! <laughs> Tackled Mr. B. I have to be continued. 
So basically, Billy is saying Mr. B is a fat hairy monster. Alright. So the first small one says, what you used to do that you don't do anymore. So, here we go. I had everything. Call me a collector, a hoarder, whatever. But trust me, I had it. Up until about one and a half year, years ago, I just bought everything. You name it. I had it. From coupons to journals to sunglasses to wrappers. But don't worry. I no longer hoard. So basically, I used to hoard. My room has always been this clean. But... I used to keep stuff in an orderly fashion, but a lot of stuff. All right, so the next thing says the people who will live in your house after you move out. So, this is what I have. Moving day. I can't believe I'm already moving. I hope everyone will take good care of each other. Without me, it's just going to be my beloved family, my mom, my dad, my sister Madison, and my dog Bella. Not me, just them. So basically, this is me talking um, the day I move out. <sighs> so, hopefully when I move out, it's just going to be my mom, my dad, my Bella, my Bella, which is my dog, and my sister Madison. So, and then the last one says, the corpse you saw in the Undertaker's window. If you don't know what an Undertaker is, he's basically the man that gets the corpse looking all purdy for their funeral. So, so, this is what it says. Is it just for his job? No, they have a place for that. But why would the undertaker have a corpse in his window? Did he steal the body for a reason? This is creepy. Oh my gosh, was he the murderer of the body? It was stolen the other day from the hospital. But is that the right body? I think it is. To be continued. All right. That wraps it all up. That's all done. Um, so I was just going to start flipping to a random page. Um, and then reading you guys the things. So we're going to do that. Just so you know, I'm not like, oh, I don't like this one. Huh? Nope. Huh? I'm actually legitimately doing this, so... Let's, all right. Oh, this is the one that I got yesterday in my video, but I don't understand it, so. All right. Write a letter from the point of view of a drug addict. Addict. Write a letter to the reader of a novel you haven't written yet. A 24-hour camping trip with any person you want. A straight A high school student is caught stealing something at school by a teacher. So that is my writing prompts for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put my gum wrapper in that page because I don't have paper because I'm getting a lot of that. Alright, so see you guys tomorrow. Like this video, comment down below. That's not my outro. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up this video if you like it, hated it, loved it. And comment down below what you want to see next. And please click that subscribe button. It keeps me, me motivated to do more videos. Continue watching this series. I hope you guys enjoyed so far. And hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second. Peace.